Good morning, my friends, and welcome back. I hope you and your families and friends are all doing well while we're stuck inside here. I'm going to try to help you find some fun things to do. And I thought I would show you how I made this farmhouse style bottle. It's pretty easy, and I'll show you all the steps right now. So you guys know, I always attempt to edit these videos by talking to you and walking through these things step by step. Although with the current state of affairs in the world right now, a lot of times my husband is home or will come home while I am editing a video. The dogs are here and I do not have the luxury of doing that. So I will talk as much as I can to walk you through this. And when he comes home, I'm going to have to switch over to subtitles. For right now, let me see how far I can get into talking about what you need to do. So I took this liquor bottle, I got the label off of it. By the way, I love that this had writing, raised writing on it. If you can find a liquor bottle that's got the raised writing on it, that's really the way to go for this project. So I used the Americana chalk paint for glass and I will have all of the links down below for everything that you need. And I pounced it all over the bottle. I prefer a sponge pouncer when I'm using chalk paint on glass because it almost gives the bottle a stone look. As usual, I put on way too much paint. That's okay, I'm going to finish the whole bottle. Cover the whole thing with the chalk paint. And to move this along, I put it on a piece of parchment paper in my oven. I set the oven to 170 degrees Fahrenheit and left it in there for about 10 minutes, then turned the oven off and I let this bottle cool off in the oven while the oven was cooling down. I mean, you could take it out after 15 minutes, just don't burn yourself. I did one thing a little differently, which made this come out with a different look. You see how this has kind of a runny effect down here, which I loved. I actually wet my brush a little bit as I was pouncing and then I used a roller brush, uh, sorry, a wet roller brush with the chalk paint on it to apply this paint and it just really came out kind of cool. I like the way all of this looks even though I'm going to cover that with the decoupage. And while I let that cool down a little bit more, I went to the graphics fairy and I looked up vintage labels and I found one that I like to print out to fit this bottle where I wanted it to. And I cut it out. Now this is on the rice paper that I showed you last week. I'm really impressed with this rice paper. It's so flexible, it goes right through the printer. And this is the first rice paper I've ever used that goes through the printer and doesn't jam it up. It is made specifically to go through the printer. So you can see here when I mentioned that it's good to have raised lettering on the bottle, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to sand away, not all of, but some of the chalk paint to age this a little bit. And I'm going to go around the bottle and just scuff it up a little bit with my file again. Really want to age the bottle a little bit. That's what the farmhouse look is all about. You want to kind of age things, make them look like they belong on a farm or they've been on a farm or in a farmhouse. So let's just scratch this up a little bit. I'm being kind of gentle with the uh, file here. And now that I'm done sanding everything, I'll show you how this label is going to fit right over the front here. I'm going to age the label a little bit because as you can see when I place the label down, it looks kind of brand spanking new. It, it fits perfectly, which is great. However, it just looks too new. So what I'm going to do is crumple this up a little bit. Now it is rice paper. It's a bit stronger than napkins, so you're able to do this, but much more pliable than regular paper. Let's scrunch it up, and I'm going to add the coffee over it. I also deliberately did this over the bottle so that if some of the coffee spilled on it, it's fine. I'm still trying to age everything. I don't think it made that much of a difference on the chalk paint, but I'm going to apply this now over my surface. You can see how it aged it a little bit. 
And I'm using my Americana napkin decoupage glue. Again, guys, all of the links are down below to purchase these. Thank you so much for going through my store, by the way, that every little bit helps, especially during this time. So I seriously appreciate how you guys are helping me out and going through my links. By the way, you can buy anything you want on Amazon when you go through my links. You don't have to stick to just what I am showing to you. Whatever else you need, you can still get through those links I get a little bit of credit for that too and thank you thank you so much again you guys really really appreciate that so I placed the napkin decoupage glue down I'm laying the label over it and you can see I'm removing most of the wrinkles this way this is a case where you kind of really want the wrinkles so I'm going to decoupage the rest of this down by the way I tore a little bit of the rice paper over here as you can see and I've decided I'm just going to leave it like that there's going to be a little tear over there in the rice paper but we are trying to age this anyway so it just adds to the vintage look of my bottle and while the label is still wet I'm going to add another coat of the Americana napkin decoupage glue over it and I'm going to put it aside to dry I want this to have an aged look and once in a while when you put a decoupage project in the oven it can give it a gloss which I don't want to do so I'm just going to let this air dry for now I have a little lotion on my hands from washing them continuously so I'm trying to hold this with something and get a nice grip on it and I'm just going to lightly sand around this label to age it even a little bit further and I just put a towel under here to catch some of this dust while I sand away you can see that the decoupage glue and the label are on there pretty firmly so the images and the color from the label is not coming off that easily which is okay I just want to age it a little bit here and there And over here on this side, you can see where the label tore a little bit, but I really do think that adds to the rustic charm of this, so I'm okay with that. I'm just going to finish sanding all around here. Now I want to put a top coat on here to protect this finish. And because I want to keep this a nice vintage look, I don't want it to be too glossy. Naturally, I'm not going to add any glitter to it. And what I'll do is I'll use this Deco Art matte varnish over the whole surface. I'll put it over the front and the back. I ended up having to wash my hands again anyway. I think we got a delivery and I'm so paranoid these days. So I had to wash my hands anyway. I'm going to apply this top coat over this and then I am going to show you how our finished bottle looks. So I filled this with some lilacs from our yard and put it in front of the azalea bush. I don't know if you can hear the elusive cardinal is hopping all around through that shrub right there. Nothing but flowers. Isn't that beautiful? At least we can get outside and look around. Even though I know it's nowhere near close to the same thing, I hope that my showing you a little bit of the flowers and the waterfall and some of these other nature shots <laughs> makes you feel a little bit more uplifted. And just at the end of this video, I'll show you a beautiful deer that actually came up to me because I think even the deer are bored and they're saying, feed me. <laughs> so guys, it looks like we made it. I didn't have anybody come home. The dogs aren't barking. I was able to get through a video where I actually talked to you. I hope you enjoyed our project for the week. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget those links are down below and Upcycle with Decoupage is on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page on Facebook, Facebook will notify you every week. In your feed, it will pop up saying that I have a video out and it will supply the link so that you can go right on over and catch my videos and never miss one of them. Thank you for sharing my videos and I love hearing all of your comments. Some of you comment often, some of you just pop in and say hello or how you feel about the videos. Thank you so much you guys. I hope we're all helping each other out and keeping a good thought. This too shall pass and I will see you guys next week my friends. Bye-bye.